I told them I'd be back in a couple of days to give them cash or a check. I'll need to find this. Left at the altar, Alfred Angelo closed its doors yesterday, giving brides to be just a few hours to scramble to pick up their dresses. Those who didn't get their dresses were told the gowns would be shipped to their home if they paid in full. But what about the brides to be who were in the middle of making payments when the store abruptly closed? What happens to their dresses and their money? Money editor John Delano reports on what he learned. A lot of unhappy customers of Alfred Angelo Bridal showed up at closed bridal shops on Friday. There was an appointment made earlier this week with someone in, in the store to come and get her gown and the slip and naturally pay the balance. But now what do we do? Mary and Dick Gatos were here to get their granddaughter's wedding dress. Her wedding is August 12th. They have the gown inside here? That's supposedly yes, and I, I would personally, I'd like to call the cops and have them open this store up. They are hardly alone. My wedding gown is in there waiting to be picked up. Roberta Krantz ordered a new gown to renew her wedding vows on her 30th anniversary this fall, and she tried to pick it up twice this week. On one day, they told her they could take only cash. And then Thursday night, we understood the store was not supposed to close until approximately six o'clock. So we felt we had enough time to get here to, you know, pick up my gown, only to find that they had closed early, which was uh, a big disappointment for uh, about 10 other girls that waited here. The doors are locked tight at Alfred Angelo Bridal, but behind these doors are dozens of bridal gowns that have been paid for or partially paid for. And brides need them right now for weddings over the next few weeks. So how do they get in there to get the gown? The company filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in Florida on Friday. And its attorney said it would work with the bankruptcy trustee to, quote, facilitate delivery of dresses. No comment yet from the trustee, but the state attorney general's office has a simple message. Get those dresses to the brides, if that's what the brides want or get a refund to them. Deputy Attorney General Jess Harvey says his office has reached out to the company and the trustee to help resolve this. We would like them to give back the dresses that they have if they're ready to go or to refund money. John Delano, KDKA TV News. And the Attorney General's office is asking any bride, bridesmaid, or others affected by the abrupt closing of Alfred Angelo Bridal to file a complaint with their office right away. Ways to do that are by phone, internet, or mail. They can be found at kdka.com links.